Hello, I'm at Lowe's today and I just bought some lumber. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that projects relating to wood and my vehicles usually get a little interesting. For one, this is an eight by four piece of plywood. And if you set it beside the vehicle, it's almost as, well, I'd say bigger than the vehicle in certain dimensions. And as you might assume, this vehicle is not going to take an eight by four. Like, if you look at the depth, we're looking at five, of the, you know, if I were to do this comfortably. The width is maybe 42, did I say something like that? It is rather wide inside, yeah, but the mouth, where it goes in, is not as wide as you would think. And even then, you have humps over there. So, it's, it's an interesting shape inside here, but, you're probably looking at this thinking, well, you've got more stuff in there. How are you even gonna get it in? Well, be patient because these things are going to help my case. So I went into Lowe's and the Lowe's over here, Terre Haute, Indiana, most Lowe's stores have a wood cutting area. And in the wood cutting area is where you have something like this and tell them, hey, cut this into reasonable sized pieces that I can put inside my hatchback, sedan, coupe, whatever you got. But when I went to ours today, it showed that they, the, the saw was broken. So I have to figure it out. First time I came here, I had to just go back home. But I already know what I'll be making. And there'll be neat dimensions of 24, 24, 24. So I went home and got this. I invested in this some time back. So if everything works right, yep. This is what I'm going to use to reduce my board to the size that I want. This will be to hold the camera while I do my work. Spare battery, why not? And then these to mark up the board. And my woodworking stand is right here. So I hope no one's gonna tell me anything. After all, if you really felt so strongly about this, you should have fixed your wood, you know, your saw at the wood cutting area, but I'll make it work. So we'll pull the camera down and just get to work. And just like that, suddenly they can fit in there. Thankfully, it parked pretty far and this place is not too populated. You don't want to be doing this in the busiest parts of, of you know, of Lowe's. Otherwise, I mean, are there options? Yeah, there are options. For example, this one here, Lowe's usually has this truck that you can rent, but 20 bucks, I mean, yeah. If I'm gonna cut the wood anyway, why would I want to pay more money if I can just kind of start working over here. Anyway, we'll keep working, we'll keep working, and as you can see, they now fit in there a little better. Two down. Okay, so the four by eight is in there, and now we're gonna push these other, other sticks in there. See, these are eight, but yeah, they can go in a little further. Oh, so close, so close. All right, well, this is it. I think our Lowe's trip has been pretty successful. When I get inside there, I have to babysit these so that they don't smash anything, but I think we'll be fine. Get home safely and without causing too much of a, of a spectacle on the road. Okay, so I'm about to start driving and after shutting the trunk or the hatch, it looks like I've got a little more space. So I'll push this back. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's what eight foot boards will do. That's how far they'll go. Got some 
room here and depending on how you've laid it down there i've got stuff but if you did not have all the stuff i have underneath the boards maybe it might be closer to your armrest but again if it were lower i guess it would be really close to your to your uh, gear selector but this is working guys and that's all this video aims to do to share that it works and there's this table here that needs to go okay let's go let's start it